Now I shift the discussion to the second aspect. First aspect is clear that building codes are clearly missing in some areas and performance based design comes in, right? The second aspect is urbanization. For example, this figure shows that by 2025, 62% of the world population will be living in urban areas and this number is have increased actually from 1950, 30% then 1975 38% 47% and now 62% right similar other statistics also tell the same story for example here in this map uh, you can see the urban population as a percentage of total population so you can see here somewhere in pakistan and actually the whole south and southeast asia uh, it have somewhere here this range may be from 30 to 40% and this number is going to go up in next few years right for example from the year 2000 to 2005 in most of the south asian countries there was a medium rate of urbanization the annual average annual rate of change of the urban population was somewhere between 1 to 4 percent every year 1 to 4 percent population was you can say adding to the urban population in these five years 2000 to 2005 and if you project all of that uh, you can say scenario to maybe 2030 uh, you will be having more people living in cities compared to today for example this is situation in 1950 1975 the color shows the the total uh, the percentage which is uh, urban population so for example 50 means 50 percent of the population is ur living in urban areas and this number is going up for example just check south and southeast asia it was somewhere in from 12 to 25 percent then in 2005 it increased and in 2030 it is it has been projected that the number is going to go up 42 to maybe 59 percent right so with every passing year the people living in cities are increasing and what does this mean actually this means that we have more needs for built up space we have more infrastructural requirements or needs right this is what uh, what it mean if you look at the uh, you can say perspective of a structural engineer that you will have more construction projects you will have more infrastructural requirements and therefore uh, this is what is going to happen in next few years another aspect of this rapid urbanization is the vertical growth of buildings that we have a limited space and uh, then this automatically uh, you can say tell us the need for going up in vertical direction for example in the same area if you accommodate 10 small houses it will be having just 10 families but a 40 story building in in the same area building footprint uh, it may accommodate as much as 200 families and you might have already start seeing this effect in your surroundings we have seen uh, the construction of several high rise buildings in last 5 years maybe and this is the the need or requirement it is coming from rapid urbanization everyone wants to come to cities because of all the needs which he have and therefore we have increased infrastructural requirements this this is also one aspect which uh, we have to face actually so all the major cities in the world they are uh, they are all full of high rise buildings now uh, these uh, accommodation requirements and infrastructural needs they are not always the motivation behind the construction of high rise buildings but mostly in south and southeast asia this is one of the main motivation 